What's up guys, this is Kyle from Wax Museum. I have another mystery binder opening here. It's been a little while since I've done one of these. Um, this was a, I'll show you the pictures as I'm talking here, but this was a giant binder that I found on eBay, which I'm not even sure if it's positioned in the box the same way, just because of, you'll see this last picture here. Just um, I'm not so sure if it's positioned because it looked a lot thicker than this box. Nonetheless, this box is still very heavy, and um, I even had to kind of reposition my camera as best as I could to try and fit this box um, and fit everything into the shot here. So you'll notice I'm not quite in the same position as normal, but um, okay, yeah, actually they did fit this binder in here. Um, and you can tell there's going to be some damaged cards in there, like, but I usually expect that. Um, so this is a it's a two inch binder that's thicker than two inches. You can see it's kind of bursting at the seams here um, So it's supposedly filled with cards from the 2000s with basketball cards from the 2000s and that's um, That's what the post showed there were you know some preview pictures um, And you know, we'll see so I'm gonna go through this. I didn't see anything in there that looked amazing there weren't very many preview pictures, so um, who knows what we're going to find in here. Either way, I got this for $36.90, so I think it's worth the experience cost alone. So um, I'm not going to really stop unless I see anything that I, I think is significant here. Let me check my camera to make sure I've got everything in the shot. Um, but at least, you know, it wasn't, they didn't pick out all the Kobe and, and Shaq base. We see some of that here already. Um, and that card, even though some of these look pretty rough, that card's actually in pretty good shape. So uh, I, I won't pick out every card here as we go, but that one stood out to me. Um, so, you know, these blue borders, these are 2002 tops. I see a lot of that. Here's a 2003 card. Um, this, is, uh, this is 99 tops, I think. So all sorts of different um, makes and manufacturers here. Here's an old stadium club of Derek Fisher. And that might even be a picture from the NBA Finals because that's against the Pacers. But all right, so let's go through here a little bit quicker. Oh, I'm going to have to go through it multiple times because look, there's stuff like this. I didn't expect that. I don't. I didn't see that on the earlier pages. But we've got you know multiple cards in here in the same sleeve. There's a Shaq insert. I'll take that out, I suppose. But um, yeah, we're going to run into that. I think there's two or three there. I'm going to have to go through this binder a couple times. Um, but anyway, all right, so let's keep going through here. Um, so that was all Lakers themed. We've got Steve Nash. So it looks like we're going to the Mavericks now. Uh, don't see anything super significant there, but I have to check to make sure that's not a, doesn't look like a first day issue. Um, this Dirk, I don't did the Lego have certain parallels based off the foil. Not sure. Um, I don't run into a lot of the Lego cards though because you actually had to buy the Lego sets to get them. So I will set that one aside here. Um, some more Dirk stuff, some Maverick stuff. So once again, some 2003 stuff. So I'm always looking for the um, crystal cards from 2003. I think those are numbered to 375. Okay, now we're moving into the Bulls. Here's a Rodman. And as always, when I start a video here, I hear a cat coming this way. One of them I put out on the porch. This one I did not. Man, he's making his way here. Here's a Ron Artest. All Matrix Future Force. Cool looking card. Cool looking insert. Yeah, and some of these have three in the pocket, so I'm going to have to go through this later on, but I'm not going to pull out every single one while I'm doing this because I don't want this video to be super long. Here we've got some calves. So there's a bazooka, 2003 bazooka gold. I'm guessing um, probably no LeBron in here, but who knows? There were some um, there were some Shaq and Kobe. Not quite the same level, but still. Derek Anderson Thunder card. Like that's Flair Final Edition, that's an 03. So there is plenty of 2003 era stuff in here. Didn't see any LeBrons in that section. 
We got some KG here, some KG base. So we're on to Timberwolves now. Michael Olua Candy, number one pick. Your favorite number one pick. Uh, I do see a gold label, so that's going to be nice. Even if it is just base. We got a Bazooka comic there, but that looks like that Ray Allen. Even the, the base is pretty nice. Nice looking card. All right, so here... That's so what I was asking about the Lego cards. I'll pull this out, this Ray Allen out, so we can compare. So there must have been some sort of a parallel. None of my guys were in the Lego set, so I never really knew much about them, but it must be some sort of parallel. This looks more like a gold, and this is not even foil at all. So I'll leave those out so I can compare the two. Um, so we've got the Bucks here. Nothing of real significance that I can see. We've got the Heat. We got a shack insert here. We got a gold label of Tim Hardaway. So I'll take the gold labels out. Those are always um, even the the base are you know pretty nice. I can still put those in a dollar box. Here's a Wade. Is that third year? So there's a Wade card. Uh, another Shack base from 2006. There's a Wade from Tops Total with a Mark Strickland gold medallion. I always take these throwbacks out, Lorenz and Wright, rest in peace. I know they're not really worth anything, but um, I like the throwback set, so slowly piecing those together. I'm sure I'll make a, a set eventually just from buying lots, probably. Might have to buy some of the bigger guys, but won't be too bad. All right, so we're in the Hawks now. Some rookies left in here, but, you know, Josh Smith, Josh Childress, Sheldon Williams, not uh, anyone worth writing home about. We've got our Celtics here, Kenny Anderson. I see a Pierce base card here on the other side. Oh, it was a Pierce base card, but there's a Chauncey Billups rookie discovery on top of it. So we'll put that aside. I do see some Pierce stuff here. Um, this is a, a little bit of a shot at my friend Steve Showley, but um, I wouldn't pull the Pierce base out of here either. I'd leave it all in there. I know people People are uh, kind of divided on how they see Paul Pierce. I know he was a, a great player, but there's just a part of me. I don't know. I watched him. It's just a part of me that refuses to want to acknowledge him in any way. But nonetheless, he'll get his due. Well, he made the Hall of Fame, so that's good enough, right? Here's a Jermaine O'Neal tops rookie. Jermaine O'Neal had a pretty underrated career. Now, if you watch the documentary he just produced... Um, they made him seem like, you know, completely derailed his career and he was going to be amazing. Uh, there were some other factors in there, too. There were some injuries. Um, don't get me wrong. He was good. He had a very good run. But um, be careful, you know, just know who your source is. Know who's making that documentary. I know there's more Jermaine rookies in there. I'm not going to pull them all out. All right, so we've got uh, the Nuggets. Looking for MVP parallels or something. Not seeing a lot of parallels here. There's some rookies still. Um, not seeing anything that really sticks out to me. So, I don't know. You know, I don't know if that's a good sign or not for this binder. It, it, it could take, you know, just one card could make or break this binder. Although, like I said, there's an experience cost attached to it. I bought it for the less than the price of two blasters, so... Um, I will enjoy just going through it. Here's a card that I like seeing. I, w I won't pull it, but it's Patrick Ewing as a uh, Orlando Magic. Just an odd sight. There's another Shaq base. We've got some Spurs now. Let's see if they left some Timmy cards. I like the cards that feature the uh, Larry O'Brien trophy. You can see that on that Ginobili card there. Steve Smith. I do see some... Here's a Tim Duncan. Here's a Duncan. There's a Duncan insert, draft rewind. Here's some Duncan on this page. Duncan, 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 Duncan. So, okay, yeah, they left some here. So they left uh, they left us some of the Duncan stuff. I guess they, whoever, you know, might have gone through this determined he wasn't worthy of taking out. Probably not Steve Francis either. Breakout performers. The T-Mac Hobby Masters.
some, I, this was mostly 2000. There's a 97 tops of Clyde Drexler. So it's a nice little mix. Um, a lot of 2000s though. I like 2000 stuff. It's nostalgic for me. That's when I was big into it. Oh, here we go. There's a Topps Gold 2003 of Vladi Divac. And um, these are the, oh, oh no, I thought he was 12. He was not 12 with the, uh, I was going to say, that's jersey number. Didn't he wear 12 somewhere at some point? Maybe it was was with the Lakers. I don't know. Now I'm curious. But, um, yeah, so that's cool. A uh, Topps Gold. Those have really um, took off compared to what they used to be. I really didn't think much of those for the longest time. And uh, now a little bit bigger of a deal. So that was cool. That was a nice little pull out of there. You got a uh, Peja insert from Sweet Stroke. I think that's 2004. Yep, 2004. Cool insert. Reggie's in that set. That's why I know that one. Some more King stuff. And we got a Raptor stuff here. We got a, a Bosch rookie. Definitely take that out. So Bosch Bazooka. That's called the Bazooka Joe version. The Bazooka had tons of different kind of rookies that year. There were minis, there were different jerseys. So you'll see, if you look up the LeBrons, there's tons of, of options for Bazooka LeBron rookies. There's a Bosch uh, Tops Total Silver. Nice looking Gary Payton Coast to Coast insert. I like that one. I think I talked about that on my show at one point. I want to say Jamal Tinsley was in that set. It was from 2000. Uh, 2002, 2003 tops. Oh, there's a lot of cards in here. It feels like it. Oh, maybe not. Maybe just two, as there should be. Um, I don't recognize this insert from Apex Allies. That tells me that Sean Kemp was gone by that point. Yeah, 99. That's when he ballooned up during the lockout. They got rid of him. So Seattle, there's a uh, Topps Black, I always hated these, I hate thick cards, Topps Black of Brent Berry, son of Rick Berry of course, little Bonzi Wells action in the background with the 9-11 tribute patch, we got a uh, Johan Petro rookie, Put that one in the deposit box. Just kidding. Got our 76ers here. Kyle Korver, rookie. Big dog, Glenn Robinson. He had a little run there. Iverson. So we got some more bazooka stuff. Looks like our Pacers are coming up here next. That'll be interesting to see what's in there. And as I mentioned, I'm always going to pull the Lear Platinum. Retro cards, I like those. I thought we had a Pacers page. This is just a random tops total page. We got Steven Jackson, we got Jermaine O'Neal. I actually have a binder with because I open so much tops total. I have a binder where I was just putting the Pacers base and I I just had a ridiculous amount for each player. We got some more. This is a mixture here, so I don't know. Maybe we're done sorting by team. Remember when Rudy T coached the Lakers? Yeah, not many people do. It wasn't a very wasn't a very long tenure there. there. Okay, now we're back to the team stuff. We've got some Knicks. I figure I might miss a crystal as I go through these, but uh, hopefully not. You guys are always good about pointing stuff out when I uh, overlook it, or sometimes I'm at a weird angle and I can't can't really see the binder very well. This is a better angle today. We got tops gold of, of Patrick Ewing. I don't know if that's worth pulling right now. There you go, Penny Hardway on the Knicks and the Jazz. The Jazz, one of the most boring. I say that boring franchises, um, but they're basically Pacers West Coast. So the joke's on me. Here's another tops paper. Keith McLeod be numbered to 99, 61 and 99. So a couple of those in there that we found. That that might be the uh, the best thing we get in there. 
we still got some pages to go, but that might be it. That might be our hits rundown. Got some hornets here. Saw something shiny, but it's just a Derek Coleman insert. Apex, I'll be looking for the Apex extras. Kirk Snyder, I actually have the 101 of this card. A uh, really random card to own, but yes, I have the 101 of that. There we've got some more Hornets. Bryce Drew, Valpo. Valpo guy, Robert Trailer, Tractor Trailer. We've got some Suns. More Suns, we got Marbury there. Amare, second year. More Suns. Nothing that sticks out. Leandro Barbosa, <laughs> rookie. Nothing that sticks out here. Hey, we got a Jordan. Wizards Jordan. From 2002-2003 tops. And see another Jordan here. This is from that one's 0304 Victory, I believe. Kwame put all these guys together that uh, I don't know if they meshed all that well. More Kwame, no more Jordan. There's a Kyle Lowry rookie, not super exciting, but I'll pull it out nonetheless. Grizzlies, here's our platinum. Pull those out. More Grizzlies stuff. There's a Gasol with the foil, so I am going to pull that out. If I can get it unstuck. There's our Pacers. We've got to run our test base, Brad Miller base, although that's actually a King's card. Nothing, uh, I think I have all that stuff. Looks like got all that stuff too, but that's most of the 03 top set. <laughs> yes, the cabbage is gold, Bowman gold rookie, not chrome, but just the Bowman gold. There's a cool shot of Jermaine and uh, Ben Wallace. Carlos Rogers, that dude was huge. You can't tell it in this card, but that dude was massive. Um, yeah, more Pacers base. Looks like I got all that stuff. I don't know what this Ohio State stuff is. Let's see if these are legitimate autographs. Honda. These real. Oh, we got a cat in the chair with the camera. Sorry about that. So, yeah, there looks like a real signature. <laughs> Nothing to write home about. And Will Dudley, nothing to write home about, but so we did end up with some autos in there. But yeah, there you have it. You can see that these are crunched here. Um, so there you have it. Not a lot of big hits in that binder, uh, or not a lot of hits in general in that binder. Just a few numbered cards. Let me pull them back on screen here in addition to those autographs. Uh, so we have the Keith McLeod, Tops Gold. We had the Brent Berry, Tops Black. We had the Vladi Divac, which actually might surprise me. I got a Chris Weber in a lot one time that was apparently selling for like 80 bucks. I don't expect Vladi to be in that range, but um, some, some of that stuff kind of surprised me. All right, there you go. There you have it. Um, no big shocks or surprises in that binder, but that's bound to happen. Um, either way, I enjoy doing this. It's, it's not going to deter me from getting more binders, and I hope you enjoyed that as well. So make sure to check out new episodes of the podcast every Thursday. Thanks for watching.